All right, Shalom. Um, Kwahala Yahaw Bashem Yasha Bashem Re Bashem Kwakwadash. The blonde said, Apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad all around the world. To the spirit and power of our Lord Yahaw Bashem Yasha. So I want to talk about um, adding and subtracting from the scriptures because what's going on is that Esau, he's trying to fit himself or fit everybody into receiving this word and to having people think that the Lord is coming to save everybody, which he's not because in order for the Lord to come save everybody, that means that the Most High had to make had to make a covenant with all nations, which He did not do. You know, the Most High clearly did not make any covenant with any nation other than the nation of Israel. You know, so. But the thing is, Esau, Edom, he knows that, you know. He's not going to have a chance to take part in the second kingdom. He's not going to take part in the kingdom of Yasha Allah and the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. You know, he's not going to take part in the kingdom when, when we're ruling, you know. So his thing is, you know, he wants to try to fit everybody in this thing. He wants to say that everybody can make it or everybody can be saved, which that's not true. Because all you nations, you're not going to be saved. Y'all going into slavery. Except for, you know, there are going to be Israelites that are, that may be scattered amongst you other nations. And that may look like you. You know, but those are the ones that are only going to be delivered. You know, because their seed, you know, just because they look like you doesn't mean that, you know, these other nations are a part of you. Because we have been scattered amongst all nations, you know, pursuant to the book of Deuteronomy, this, to, to the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, I forget the verse, but one of our curses was that we would be scattered amongst all you nations for reproach because we didn't, for what we have done, and by us being scattered amongst you other nations, you know, we ended up intermingling, interacting with you, your, your women. So our seed is all over the planet. You know, you're going to have Israelites that look like the other nations, but they're not going to be the other nations. That's the only difference. But other than that, you other nations weren't destined to be saved. Y'all were destined to be the slaves of the nation of Israel. You know, because the Lord said this and... The Lord said this in Psalms 147, verse 19, that he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known him. Praise ye the Lord. You see, the Lord said, as, as of his judgments, they have not known the Lord. You know. The Lord only made his covenant and gave the laws to the nation of Israel. That's why sin is transgression of the law. So when you sin, you break the law. Sinning is when you're breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. But there was only one nation on this planet that received the law, statutes, and commandments. And that was the nation of Israel. That wasn't all nations. But you see Esau Edom, now he wants to try to fit all na nations in this thing. You know, he wants to try to fit all nations and say that all nations could be saved. But it's going to be to his own destruction. Because by him doing that, this is what's going to happen to him.
because not only is he adding to the scriptures, he's also he's also taken away from the scriptures, like the fourteen books of um of the Bible, which he put it in the apocrypha, which means just hidden books. Why is it? Why is the apocrypha known as the as hidden books? Because Esau he's trying to have to hide the truth. You know he's hiding the truth. He's hiding the history between the Greeks, which the the apocrypha has a lot of truth in it. Like for example, the, the history of the Greeks, on how the Jews became Hellenized through the Greeks and lost their inheritance. You know, he took that history out. You know, because with that history still within the the apocrypha, he cannot preach that. You know, all nations could be saved. You know, without the apocrypha in the Bible, he cannot preach that all nations could be saved if he if if he had left the apocrypha in it. Because the apocrypha totally gives the account on what happened with the nation of Israel. On how they lost their identity and lost their inheritance and started calling themselves Greeks and Romans, you know, throughout time. This is why when Paul had said that there's neither Jew nor Greek, you know, born nor free, you know, he was talking about the very same people, Israelites. He wasn't talking about all nations. That don't apply to all nations. And the and this is one of the, the things that these Christians, you know, they push. You know, they pushed that whole Gentile thing. That Paul went to the Gentiles. But if you read Acts 21 and 21, there's a distinction because... Actually, let me get it. So this is the book of Acts chapter 21, verse 21. And they are informed of thee that thou teacheth all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying that they are not to circumcise their children, neither walk after the customs. Because one of the customs was us, you know, circumcising our children. And we stopped doing that after the Greeks came into power because you hadn't... Israelite wicked Israelite men that persuaded you know the majority of Israelites to um, follow the ways after the Greeks which they forsook which most of them did you know which many of them did you know when they said that they were not going to follow the law statutes and commandments anymore they were going to live after the ways of the Greeks you know and that's where the whole Hellenization began but there were some of us that didn't bow down to that, you know, that didn't bow down to the will of the Greeks, that didn't bow down to the ways of the Greeks, you know, like the Maccabean brothers, you know, that fought against the Greeks, you know. But this is what, you know, Esau likes to use, you know, with that whole Christianity, you know, that the Gentiles are actually the other nations that Paul was going to. But Romans, the ninth chapter, clearly cuts that whole thing, you know. But this is Esau adding and subtracting from the, from the book. And this is why he's going to receive utter total judgment for, for, for his actions. You know, and let me read that real quick. So this is the book of um, Revelations, chapter 21, verse 19, 22, so like it, 22, verse 19, and it reads, If any man shall take away, actually, don't let me um, start at 18, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of these, of the prophecies of this book. And if any man shall add on, shall add unto these these things, the most high shall add. The most high shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. 
You see? Mosai Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, he's going to add the plagues that are written in this book because Esau don't add it to the scriptures, you know. But this new, um, this international revised version Bible, you know, the new, the new version Bible, you know, changing up the words, you know, adding and saying that all nations can make it, you know. So the, this is why the plagues are going to be added, you know, onto the so-called white man. And then with the Apocrypha, he don't remove the book out of the, the Apocrypha, the 14 books out of the Apocrypha. So this is what's going to happen. Because he did, because what he had done. Verse 19, and if any man shall take away from the words of this prophecy of this book, the Moshe shall take out, take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book so this Esau Edom he's not going to be a part of the kingdom he's not going to take part in the kingdom okay because he done added and subtracted from the book and not only that you know he put his hands on the nation of Israel so this devil he has to he has a lot on his plate to pay for and the, and the tab is just going to it's just continuing to grow you know so I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai double honesty that apostles of great no stone show warm to Yaki out there on the highways and byways and I say shalom